I launched bookmarks. If you become a patron from now until September 16th, you will receive one of these in the mail along with a personalized letter from me. If you become a patron on any of the tiers, I have a whole video explaining. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name's Alex and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk all about LGBTQ plus books. I make YouTube trends bookish and I also love hockey. <laughs> It's back, baby. The Slapshot Readathon is coming this September. Today, I am going to share with you an announcement for a readathon that I created back in 2019. And next month, I am going to be hosting a week long round of it. So let's just get into it. Since I love hockey, back in 2019, I created the Slapshot Readathon, which was originally a hockey themed readathon where you just read hockey books for a week. And for this year and moving forward with the readathon, I have changed up the rules. I've come to the decision that this is going to be still hockey themed, but I am changing the rule where reading hockey books is optional. Not everyone has access to them and not everyone is a hockey fan. So I want you to still be able to participate in this readathon, whether or not you're a hockey fan. I am going to talk about two giveaways I have for the readathon, the challenges, and we have an Instagram as well as live reading sprints that will be on this channel. So hit subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up to help support my channel and to help more people see this readathon let's get into the video. I have two giveaways this round and if you would like to help support the channel and to help support this readathon, I will have my coffee down below and I also have my Patreon and everything on my Patreon will be going into the bookmarks that I just launched and this readathon and the giveaways. So if you would like to support my channel, you can pledge $1 to earn a bookmark as well as help support my channel. I have a whole video announcing bookmarks, so that will be up here. And I talk more about how you can support me on Patreon and the perks you will receive. We have a story graph reading challenge where you can input the books on your TBR and track your reading throughout the week. I will also be hosting live reading sprints on my channel throughout the week. And if you are a friend of mine and want to join me live, send me a DM or you can text me if you have my number. The dates are Wednesday from 7 p.m to 9 p.m. Eastern, Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern, Sunday is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, and to wrap up the readathon on Tuesday, the last day of the readathon, I will be hosting reading sprints from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can join me, and if you can't, they will be saved on my channel for you to watch afterward. Before I get into the challenges, let's talk about the two giveaways that I will be hosting for this round of the Slapshot Readathon. First is for my hockey fans, and this is Instagram only. This is open to residents of the US, Puerto Rico, and Canada. So this is very exciting. You are going to be given photo challenges throughout the week. I only came up with five, so there's not gonna be a lot, but you will be able to post a photo this is a jumbo magnetic bookmark from one of my favorite companies, Crafted Van on Etsy. I will have the link down below if you would like to just see more or browse because they're a really cool company. I will be awarding someone at random through Rafflecopter. I will be using Rafflecopter for both of the giveaways and the links will be down below. They do not start until the start of the readathon. I will be using Rafflecopter for both of the giveaways because it helps me randomize a winner. So this is just going to be a random winner and you have to subscribe to my channel and follow Slapshot Readathon on Instagram and participate in one or more of the photo challenges. You can post an entry every day to be entered. So if you want to really win the bookmark and you are that dedicated, you can do that. Like I said, the links will be down below. And for my international friends and non-hockey fans, you will win a $15 book of your choice to Bookshop or the Book Depository. You will win a $15 book of your choice from Bookshop through one of your favorite indie bookshops. You have to fill out the Rafflecopter to be entered into the giveaway. The rules are to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will be asking for a screenshot proof. So do all of those things right now and take a screenshot so that if you do win the giveaway, you can give me that information 
and comment on this video a book that you are excited to read for the week of the readathon or a book that you are going to purchase with the giveaway money. So that is all the information for the giveaways and on Instagram I will be posting the photo challenges. I'll have a whole list and so make sure you're following me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and at Slapshot Readathon because it's very important and I just want to see everyone's excitement about the readathon because I am so excited. I have been hiding this and I was just excited to announce it. So now let's get into the challenges. Like I said, you do not have to read hockey books, but I will be. So if you want to join me, I will be doing that. I will also be doing a reading vlog for the week of the readathon, so stay tuned for that. And so let's get into the challenges. The first challenge is hat trick, and this is a hockey term where if in a game you score three goals, you get yourself a hat trick. And this is to read a book where three is significant. This could either be a book that is the third book in a series, it could just be the first book in a trilogy, it could be the third book on your shelf, it could be published in 2013, it could even have the number three on the cover, anything like that. And I also want to tell you that I will be doing a live stream. I'll have the date up here because I'm not totally sure where the date is off the top of my head. I'll be answering your questions live. And if you need a book recommendation, I will also provide that. And if you can't make it, you can just comment a question or book recommendation you need down below and I will happily answer your questions. Next is five holes. This is to read a five star prediction, any book you predict that you will give five stars. Next is Selly, and this is a hockey term where if a hockey player scores a goal, that is their celebration, that is the term. And this is to read an anticipated read, any book that you have been anticipating reading. The next challenge is Pond slash Pipe, and this is to read a book with a hockey net, a hockey puck, or a hockey stick on the cover, and this is just for anyone who is going to be reading hockey books. I have some challenges for people that aren't going to read hockey books, and then challenges for people that will, just because if you want to, you can, but these challenges are not required. Just have fun. That is all I ask. Next is Zamboni, and this is to read a graphic novel, and you can just pick any graphic novel or comic and this will work. For the last Lapshot Readathon, I have a reading vlog where I read the Check Please series, so that will be up here if you would like to watch it. Next is my favorite challenge, and this is Sweater, to read a book while you are wearing some piece of hockey merch, or maybe you just have a mug and you're just drinking coffee out of it anything like that. This can be interpreted any way. I want to make it as accessible for everyone because I know not everyone can afford to have a hockey jersey or any hockey merchandise, but this is up to your imagination. Next is The Great One or Wayne Gretzky, and this is to read a nonfiction book. I recently read Max Domi's book, who is a hockey player, and I read it to research for my hockey book I'm writing, and you can read that one if you saw that video and were interested, or you could just read any nonfiction book that you have been wanting to read, and that could also work for the Anticipated Read Challenge. Next is Too Many Men, and this is to read a book where six is significant. This is a penalty you receive if there are more than five people on the ice on your team. So this is just like the hat trick prompt where you can just read a book where six is significant. For me, I think I'm going with a book that was published in 2016 and my TBR will be out before the readathon starts. And the last prompt is a bonus prompt that was given on Twitter last year. And this is Team Pride to read a book set in your favorite hockey team city. So that is the Slapshot Readathon. I am so excited for this readathon. You do not even understand how excited I am. I am going to be shifting my channel into a direction where I talk more about hockey and sports related to books. So I have a fun series coming that I'm very excited about. I'll still be doing my writing content and I will also be doing the reading vlogs that you all enjoy, the TBR games that I've been doing. But for now, I'm going to focus on what I enjoy and that is hockey and books. So I am very excited for the end of the year content that I have to produce. So that is it for my announcement. I hope you're all excited for the Slapshot Readathon. I 
am over the moon. I'm so excited. I just love hockey and I cannot wait to read hockey books. And so if you are excited as well, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to be entered into the giveaway. Check the links down below, follow me on social media, and follow Slapshot Readathon on Instagram. That's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am about the Slapshot Readathon. I cannot wait to talk about hockey again, and I will see you all next time. Bye.